Hey everybody, it's Michael Padone with salesbuzz.com. It's another beautiful sunny day down here in Florida. And what I want to talk to you guys about today, something that's really important. I want to show you something a little bit different with a LinkedIn sales navigator, right? A lot of times people are using that for prospecting. It's a great tool to prospect and things of that nature. Uh, but I have something that I actually use it for even more that I get a tremendous amount of value out of it. This one thing alone makes it all worth it for me personally. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to share my screen with you real fast. And I'm going to go ahead and get right onto it. Okay. So I have my, I created an account here in Salesforce with my own name. I said, be, be my own lead for a second, right? What do you notice right away? Look over here. You see where it says LinkedIn, right? That pull, it automatically pulls in my LinkedIn profile. Now, why is this so important? How many times have you been smiling and dialing picking up the phone, you call and you ask for somebody and you hear they haven't been here in two years. And now you're like, oh, and then you try to recover, right? Well, can I speak to who took his place? And then you get the way asked his calling, right? And then just send me some information for it so they'll get back with you. And it's a blown opportunity. Sound familiar? So here's the deal. When you have your leads in your, in your CRM and you're using LinkedIn Salesforce for that uh, uh, navigator for Salesforce, if you have it set up right, it'll actually automatically pull in your prospect's profile right then and there. So you can quickly take a look. Okay, it's a sales buzz matches up. Yes, uh, right, they're still there. Uh, and now watch this, you scroll down a little bit, it pulls in their company profile as well. I use this tremendously to go ahead and see, hey, okay, what vertical are they in, right? You see right here, it says professional training and coaching. That says that it's, um, and it's going to tell you what industry or what vertical they're in. Also it says the number of employees. And look, if you sell to entrepreneurs or solopreneurs or small businesses, right, then, hey, great. And, and, you, and you specialize in helping people in the professional training coaching industry, then, and you can see I still work there, right, in my profile, then boom, good lead, ready to go. Now, that doesn't mean I would actually call it right then and there. I'm going to back up for a second. When you're building your lead list for the day, or the week, whatever. But a lot of times I'm going to show you why you might want to do it per day. If you have something, um, if you have this one thing installed at your company, I'm going to, I'm going to go over that in a second, but let's say you're building your lead list for the day. I get in a little bit early. I pull up the, you know, I pull up all the leads in there and I start going through them to match them up. An even smarter idea is to get an intern to do it for you every morning, right? So make sure they come in early and give you your lead list, but I digress. Whether you're having an intern, you're paying somebody else to do it, or you're doing it yourself, just don't do it during calling time, right? You want to do it beforehand, but you want to go and start going through your leads and then pulling them up in here and see if they match your ICP, your ideal customer profile. Now, I have an example here. I pulled this one lead up, right? Uh, this is all the information I have uh, right there, pulls it. And look, right away, it says it's a sales rep. Even though I sell sales training, I don't sell to sales reps, right? So just archive it and boom. Uh, that leads out of my system now. I'll uh, let the drip marketing take over for the individual sales reps, but that's that. Uh, I don't have to waste my time calling and finding out who they were. Here's another one. This one here, regional sales manager. Now, sales managers normally aren't the people I normally speak to either. It's normally, if it's a small business, it's going to be a business owner or a partner. Uh, if it's a mid-sized business or enterprise, it's going to be some type of VP or director. So when they say sales manager, Okay, I have to see, is it a smaller company? If it's a smaller company, then a sales manager might be, might be something worth me giving a, an outreach to. The fact this is regional sales manager, chances are doesn't have a lot of power. Sure enough, I go down here. Okay, 200 to 500 employees. That's actually one of my sweet spots. Um, I, depending on how the leads are going that day, I might tag this to call it. And the other days, if I have a lot, I might just say, yep, I'm just not, I'm not calling this, I'm moving on. Right? It's not it's not on the hot list. Or you can create like a hot, warm, and cold list if you want to put them on. Here's another one. Pulls right in. Sales director. Okay, so far so good. I see they're in the United States. Perfect. Let's take a look at their company. Computer software, 11 to 50 in the United States. Again, that's another one of my sweet spots, 11 to 50. And it's in there, especially computer software. This goes on the hot list. I'm giving them a call. Make sense? So this is a great way when you have a bunch of leads inside of Salesforce that you go ahead and you're able to quickly use Sales Navigator to find out and match up who they are. I know there are other ty there are other types of uh, tools out there. Some are kind of expensive, but if your company has them, that's great. That'll automatically fill in that information. But sometimes that stuff's outdated, right? Normally, if you pull somebody up in your lead database and you have Salesforce Navigator, 
and it pulls them in and it says they're still working there. When you call them, chances are they're still working there. If they're not, they didn't leave two years ago, right? If anything, they might've just left a week ago or something. They haven't updated their, their, their uh, LinkedIn profile yet. So if they go, oh, they're, they're, unfortunately they're no longer here. Oh man, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. I was getting back to speak about X, Y, Z. Could you help me out? Can you tell me who took his place? And since he, if that person happened to just leave recently, all that makes sense. I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Okay, no problem. And so-and-so is, and for now, let me put you over. And boom, you're right on in. Get that person up on the phone and go, hey, I, I was um, reaching out to so-and-so regarding this. I understand you're taking this place. I just have a few quick questions for you. See if I can help you solve X. Would that be okay? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Bam, you're right on in there. You see how smooth that is? All right, cool. So now what was that other thing I was going to share with you? Let's go to my leads here. Notice this here, right here. See, this is the last visit. So I had these filtered here. I wanted to see all the people that were on my website yesterday. These are people in my database. We use a marketing automation tool. We send out weekly newsletters that's offering free uh, sales tips, right? So when they open it up, it tracks them. It, it marks them down saying, hey, this person opened it. It's an active account. And then what I have it do, if they visit the site, it syncs right on into, uh, into my Salesforce account. And I can pull it up by people who have been on my website in the last 24 hours. So when you get in in the morning, you pull the list up like that and you just start going through. You just pick this one. Okay, let me see. click it, pull up the lead and let Salesforce do its thing or the Salesforce Navigator do its thing, pulls it in, boom, right away, VP of sales. Uh, let's see, are they still working? Yep, yeah, this is my company matches. This goes in the hot list. Go on to the next one. You build your list real quick that way using this and then you know you're going to have prospects that are matching your ICP and who still work there and you won't have to hear uh, that person hasn't worked here in two years. You must be a cold caller. Click, All right? I hope this helps. Again, it's michaelpadone, salesbuzz.com. We'll see you next time.